passengers, porters, maintenance staff, receptionists, all people who work incredibly hard, all people who are usually low paid, and all people who have been privatised, working for disgraceful employers who want to make profits on the back of exploiting the hard work of the people who are on strike today. We was having a, a big placard, yeah, uh, advertisement inside the building saying uh, if you're not getting London living wage, contact the government and guess what? They are not paying us. They are the government. The ministers are here in the eighth floor. What are they doing over there? The secretary is here in this building. What are they doing over there? This is the department that has government responsibility for supposedly looking after employment and workers. And yet it has been brutal in its treatment of its own workers as a result of outsourcing. I was having colleagues work here for 21 years. They were receiving £7.83 until March. Until March because we strike first strike in January. Yeah? Otherwise, if you wasn't striking, they was in the same. We have colleagues out there nearly to become homeless because ISS is not paying the staff. Shame on you, Adamak. Shame on you, ISS. And shame on you, Beat. Shame on you. We are fighting for sickness pay. We are fighting for 28 days of holidays. We cannot be sick. If we are going to appointment for GP, depends on the time. Yes, because if you go in the morning, you're going to be paid half day or we're not going to be paid at all. The majority of our strikers, our black workers, our women, our migrant workers, so they're impacted by the effects of austerity, by outsourcing, by a race pay gap, by a gender pay gap, and as migrant workers. And some of our outsourced workers who have been cheapy to a new employer are also facing checks on their immigration status. We wrote to Jeremy Hunt, to Greg Clark, and we also wrote to Cressida Dick at the Metropolitan Police because we believe that these employers have broken the law and have acted in a criminal way because we think they brought in agency work to do the work of people who are on strike. You keep in strength in your staff to don't join the union, to don't go on a strike because you guys going to get disciplinary and get a sack. That's a lie. That's against the law. Shame on you, managers. Shame on you, supervisors. Shame on you. Let the people be free. Let them do what they deserve. As more and more workers are being forced to work for a wage that does not pay the bills, more and more of our children are being forced into poverty. A third of our children are living in poverty and that is having a massive impact on the education and their life chances. You cannot treat people with indignity. You are the people that nourish this building. But for your own nourishment, you have to go to food banks. We want to see the end of outsourcing, whether it be here or whether it be on the railways, wherever it is. We want work returned to the public sector because that guarantees decent paying conditions. The ministry is spending more money giving it to a private sector employer to treat you badly than if they paid you directly and you gave the service. And how crazy is that? How absolutely crazy is that? Today in Liverpool, we've also got cleaners on strike in HMRC, also working for ISS. At the Foreign Office, we also had people on strike from InterServe, their fourth bout of industrial action. We don't ask much why we are asking for £10.55 as a minimum wage. That's why we are striking for. We are in central London, but they pay us £9.47 an hour. Other staff, they pay them £14, £15 an hour. We are, we are doing the same job. So they don't give us sick pay. I was sick. I collapsed here in front of their door. Then ambulance came here and picked me up. That day, they, they refused to pay me that day. They having an appointment in St. Thomas, just around the corner, but they asked me to book uh, a day off for that appointment. Just 
30 minute appointment for review. If they don't answer us, we will go for the, the indefinite strike so that they will know that we are serious. There's another a lot of companies, they doing exactly the same and the people are too quiet, they are too afraid to come out and speak. We are not afraid. We will not be going back to work until the private company and Bayes ensure all of our members get the London living wage, get proper terms and conditions, and start a process to talk to the union about bringing people back into the civil service. These companies, they need to learn how to deal with people. We are not robots yet, we're still human, yeah? And as a human, we have human rights, and as a worker, we have a worker's right.